Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am gonna be playing with a whole bunch of makeup that TikTok made me buy. Some that I have already tried, like the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm gonna try this on again, even though you guys already have seen, well, I, I'm hoping you guys have seen the review. If you haven't, I'll go ahead and put it up in the eye so that you guys can check out my full day wear test of this and comparing it to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna be trying stuff you guys have already seen before. These two I did 100% buy because of TikTok and a couple of other friends. And then I do have this full bag here. Some of these items though, they are a little older that I have not tried out. There are also a couple of items that I couldn't get because they were sold out. 100% because of TikTok. Just kind of like a preview, I did get the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I did get it like a little gift, like travel size. I don't even know what size this is. This came free with this, and I got one that was a little darker just in case this didn't work out for me. This is in the shade Light 5 Fiji. I have never tried a NARS foundation before. Obviously, I had to get more lashes, so I got more lashes. I did get the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara, so, um, for your brows, more NYX products. So I do have a few other products here that I'm not gonna show you guys. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. First thing I'm gonna go in with is the NYX the Marshmallow Primer. I have been noticing that when I have been putting this on in the middle section right here, oh, it does such a good job of blurring like such a good job and a little bit does go a long way. This stuff is really good and I love adding this to the center here. To grip the foundation, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and I'm gonna add this all over the face. I'm gonna go in with like one and a half pumps. This stuff is amazing, you guys, it really is. This stuff makes my skin look so healthy and natural, grabs all of the foundation. It doesn't make any of the foundation go into any of my expression lines. And I've never had that happen before. And it doesn't pill like the milk one does. I'm gonna be a little bit risque here. I'm not gonna go in with a brow pencil, um, but I will go in with the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow mascara I got it in the shade black I find that with any shade other than black everything is way too warm toned for me okay this is really cool so it does have a smaller applicator but it does have fibers on it the consistency is pretty dry actually it's not like we're getting a little gloopy here it's not as wet as let's say like a clear brow gel would be but it's a little drier and i definitely appreciate that i could definitely feel it drying pretty fast though the only thing though right now that i don't like about it is that you do have to be really precise about it and where you place it because i did have like a little uh-oh here but i will be cleaning it up with some concealer so that's pretty much what it looks like it looks pretty good it's dark but I'd rather have it this color than like a warmer tone so I'm just lightly flicking and going in now so far like this side needs a little bit more filling in than this side but I think when I clean it up with concealer it'll be fine but I have to keep kind of like going in with the tip a little bit so that I can get the coverage that I need after cleaning it up a little bit it does look really good and it is staying Put, you guys it's like a drier consistency that has a little bit of stick to it but it's not annoying I'm not gonna do my eyes I'm gonna do that a little bit later I just don't really feel like it right now so I'm just gonna hop right in to the foundation because the primer has been sitting on my face and it's tacky and ready to go we have the NARS light reflecting foundation in light 5 Fiji but this is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid that instantly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. It is breathable, medium buildable foundation instantly conceals redness and dark spots and blurs wrinkles, pores, and texture. So it's quite nice because it is something that would work really well on my face. I don't really have a pore problem. I do have a lot of dark spots, have a little bit of redness, and I do have expression lines. So I'm gonna see if that actually works. If it doesn't sink in, it is for most skin types, including sensitive skin, it is all day wear. This also retails for $49. 
$49 is a lot of money, so I really do hope that I end up liking it. Fiji L5 is light to medium with warm undertones. Along with this, I did get the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. So this is supposed to lighten up any of my foundations that I do have just in case. I wanted to get the yellow, but they didn't have it, so I have this. And I've been wanting to get this for like over a year and a half. I'm pretty sure it's over a year and a half, um, but I just never really got around to getting it. And now that it's like really big on TikTok, I had to snatch it up when I saw it because anything that goes viral on TikTok, it is gonna be sold out for a while. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It's really annoying, but TikTok is like a lot bigger than a, lo a lot of other platforms and I'm okay with it because I like it, but... It just sucks that everything sells out so fast. Packaging is really nice. It's very simple. It is very on brand for NARS. It does have a pump, which is so nice. I'm gonna do one side brush, one side sponge, just to see how it works out. It is runny, so it's a thinner consistency. I'm gonna grab a little bit, and it already soaked up pretty much all of it, and we're gonna go in. Okay, I really hope this works out, because I don't wanna go back in and exchange more stuff. So this does look orange on me. It is a bit dark. It's a little dark for me. I guess it doesn't look like it, but to me in person it does. This does look really good on the skin. It is light reflecting as you can tell here. A lot of people are saying that they love this more than the Charlotte Tilbury. Now the only thing that I would say for the NARS compared to the Charlotte Tilbury one is that it this one's not as dewy. It is definitely reflective, but I like that this one is a thinner consistency and this one does give a little bit more coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury one does. And then I'm just gonna apply foundation straight onto here. I'm gonna do two pumps because these are really small pumps and I'm gonna use my Juno & Co sponge. All right, the smell of it is quite nice. It's very light, so that blended out like a dream. Again, you can see the reflection, the light reflection. This covered up my redness really well, covered up a little bit of my dark spots up here. It's not grabbing onto any of my dry patches. Uh, the color's fine. I thought that it was gonna be too orange. It's warm. It has a little bit of yellow in it now that I have blended it out. I didn't use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter either, and I typically do, but I just didn't feel like it this time. I just wanted to see how this would be with the other primers underneath it. Now, if I were to put my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath this, then it would give me a little bit more of a glow. Now we're gonna get into concealer. The first thing though that I'm gonna do is I'm going to color correct. I have been using this a lot lately. It's like I have refound love for this again. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Light to Medium. I just tap this in and that's it. I don't put a lot on because I don't need a lot, even though my under eye circles are really bad, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply just a tiny bit in the areas that I need. I'm not gonna go like everywhere because I've done that before and it had defeated the purpose of why I wanted to put this on. I do have a new concealer that everyone has asked me to try and that I have seen everywhere and I've heard everyone just talk about it like it's literally God's gift. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have mine in the shade Vanilla. I went a little lighter on this, which I think it still might actually be too dark. It's infused with Tremella Mushroom. It helps with dark circles, acne, dark spots. It is a medium concealer. It comes in 13 shades. I've actually seen people compare this to foundations, so a lot of people have been wearing this as a all-over foundation or spot concealing, which I think is is pretty cool. The consistency is, I thought it was gonna be runny, but it's not. Oh, that's quite nice. So one pump literally is all you need. I can tell by that so far. I think vanilla is perfect. It might actually be a little too light, but you know, it's fine. It's a little on the peach side, which I don't mind because it'll help with my under eye circles. But yeah, literally half a pump would do. This consistency is thicker. So I can feel that it is a lot thicker than say like my Rebel one that I have. Um, I'd probably say this feels very, very similar to the Tarte one. I'm gonna go in with this and kind of dab this out a little bit. 
bit. It's definitely giving me the coverage that I want. I look very awake right now. Go ahead and go all over the eye. I'm not gonna do any like crazy eye looks. I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes. That's very nice. It did a really good job of brightening the under eye and covering up my under eye circles. And we'll see here in a second if it does any creasing. I'll see how much bunches up in my creases. Next, I'm gonna go in with another cream product. This is by e.l.f. This is the Putty Bronzer in Honey Drip. This is infused with argan oil and vitamin E. This claims that it is not greasy, that it dries down to a semi-matte powder. Now, the one product that I wanted to get was the Clear Brow Gel, but they were sold out, so it's probably something that's gonna be sold out for a really long time, but that's fine. This is the color here. This one, this one actually reminds me a lot of the Fenty one. This is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Macchiato. That's a little darker. Ah, this one's a little bit more orange than this one is. I thought we were gonna run into deep here, you guys, but I guess not. Just a tiny bit here. It literally fits perfectly in here. I'm gonna lightly pat this in. I just want to see if this lifts my foundation. I'm hoping it doesn't. Okay, the color is really nice. It is definitely like a summer bronze shade, a little bit more on the orange side, but you know, just gonna have to make do. In the pan, it doesn't really look as orange. Not bad. Go ahead and go up top here a little bit. I feel like any time that I add a little bit more bronzer on my forehead, I'm like, okay, it's coming together. It looks really good. I look bronzed, so this does look really good. I do like this. I am gonna quickly go in with some powders, and the first one I'm gonna go in with is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in Fair. I've been obsessed with this, you guys, lately. Like, I cannot put this down like the beauty bakery one is the one that i use all the time but i have been using this non-stop before we put on the powder i just want to show you guys i'll go ahead and just zoom you guys in so with this concealer i do have i mean i'm just pushing down a little bit you can see a lot of the concealer bunching up right underneath here and i don't like that so you know while the coverage is really good and i do like the color i don't like how much it's bunching up it's almost like the elf camo concealer so i'm just going to pat this out a little bit and then i'll go ahead and set it um and then another powder that i use all the time is the dior backstage face and body powder no powder in two i'm gonna cut this i just go up here a little bit and right here now I'm going to go in with my glowish bronzer in the shade medium and I'm going to bronze up in the perimeter. Now I'm going to go in with the glowish blush in the shade healthy peach. We're going to hop in early with highlighter. I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn highlighter in iced. Very pretty. I don't typically go in with highlighter this early, but I'm just going to go in and do it because I just have the eyes left to do. So I'm going to quickly put on some eyeliner, maybe a little bit of bronzer in the crease, and we'll be back to try out the next product. I don't know what happened there. Something happened to my camera, and I'm hoping that it caught me applying the mascara. If not, I'm going to do it on this side. Let's go ahead and try this on the other side. All right, let's go to try it on this side. It's going to start at the base here. My lashes are so so like gross now. I have barely put any mascara on and every time that I do now, my lashes are just stick straight 100% of the time. So trying to get them to go up is just not, I haven't trained them in a really long time. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting it all over, like right in here. <laughs> oh my God, that looks so bad, whatever. The mascara definitely gave me some volume, 100%. It does look a bit clumpy, but it's not too bad. My lashes have just been really weird lately, so. I'm just gonna attribute it to that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off whatever is up here in a second. I'm just gonna let it dry off. But yeah, so far everything looks really good. I do like the mascara. Am I in love with it? No, I'm not in love with it, but it does work really well. I'm sure if I were to use my Grande Lash Serum, this mascara would do really well because my lashes would be long. My lashes are so short right now, so yeah. Now we're going to get into the lips. I do have two products that I do want to try out. My lips are going to be so freaking dark, you guys. 
so freaking dark but we're still gonna try it again they're not new but i did see them in newer colors so i'm gonna try them out i do have the la girl shockwave new lip liner in chai latte i think i had seen this on tiktok someone using it but i totally forgot about it until now so yeah let's go ahead and try this Ooh, okay this is really dark but like the color so far is not it's like a cool tone like it's more cool tone than any of the other browns that i have if that makes sense i don't know why i love this color so much it's so dark but it's so pretty what i usually do next is i'll go in with a small brush and i will blend out the edges do you see how this lightened up a little bit on the bottom it is so pretty i did use this shade oh is it i went over to my mother-in-law's for my brother-in-law's birthday and i wore this and i freaking absolutely like 100% fell in love with it right when I put it on. And this stays put, you guys. It's creamy, but it stays put. I could almost wear the shade by itself, just all over the lip. It is so pretty. Got the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick in More Coffee. It is a very dark brown. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love this already. It is so dark, but I love it. I could probably use this as a lip liner too. Mm, oh my God, you guys, I love it. It may look really dark and it may look really pale right now, but I love any lipstick that is going to be like a red or really dark color. Anything that accentuates my lips, I am going to wear because I feel like, to me, I feel like my best feature are my lips. And my smile. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to be humble here. Yeah, this is so pretty. I am actually going to put on a little bit more blush just to liven up the face a little bit because I do look a little pale right now. I have been using this technique lately with blush where I put it like right underneath here to liven up the face a little bit. And I actually really like it. I mean, I don't really need to make my face look any more full than it is, but I do really love wearing blush. All right, guys, so my makeup is all done. I put on my wispies, my Ardell wispies, not to be confused with the Demi wispies. I those do not look good on my eyes whatsoever. We're gonna go ahead and get into everything that I did try out. Obviously, I will be trying this at some other point soon. The NARS foundation, I was really surprised with the coverage of this and the light reflecting look this gave me. However, this is a little bit more drying than the Charlotte Tilbury one. It doesn't give me that luminous dewy effect that I wanted, but again, it's not bad. The color isn't bad either. If you guys want me to do a wear test on this, like a full day wear test, I can go ahead and do that, which honestly, it's probably what I'm going to be doing next. So be on the lookout for that. The concealer wasn't too bad at all. I loved it that it gave you enough time to work with, blend out. The only thing that I didn't like about it was the creasing, but it looks fine right now, especially with powdering. Putty bronzer, really enjoyed this. I do like the color of it. It is only $6. I don't expect it to be like a Fenty because it's not a Fenty, but it did do a really good job for the price. NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I really did enjoy this stuff. I like the consistency of it. I like how it dried down. I like how my brows stayed put. They do look so good though. Like they're a little dark, but it looks so good. Highly rated anti-gravity mascara. So for everything that it claims, I I just, um, no, didn't like this. Maybe if my lashes were a little longer then it would work out. Well then after I did put this on, my lashes started going back down. So I had to put falsies on and I wanted to show you guys up close what it looked like. As I was trying to curl my lashes, I got a lot of fallout. Here I am up close and I do have like, you can see on my nose here, like right here, all, just all in this area, you can see the black marks everywhere. Like it's just everywhere. It's flaking everywhere. So I had to put falsies on and I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. Kind of annoying, cause it's my first PR package from them. And like I really wanted it to work out, but it didn't. We have the lip products, the LA Girl Shockwave and Chai Latte. This is gonna be one of my most used lip liners all year. I was thinking about getting the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown one or just Foxy. I can't remember what color it is, but I have a feeling that this is gonna outshine it. I really, really love the consistency of this. It's really inexpensive, it goes on nicely, it blends out really well. However, you do have to work with it a little fast because it does kind of like set in place. So if you do wanna blend it out, do it really 
quickly. And then the last product that we have here is the Maybelline Ulta Matte in More Coffee. I am like obsessed with this, as you guys can tell. Like I can't stop looking at myself, like I'm feeling myself right now. I love the shade, it is so pretty, it makes my teeth look whiter than they typically are. It is perfect for fall and winter, but you know, I'm gonna be wearing this shade during spring and summer with my dark tan that I'm hopefully gonna get. And then everything else that I had used, you guys already know that I love it, that's why I used it. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this first impressions try on from stuff that I'd seen on TikTok and that TikTok made me buy. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys you wanna see please let me know in the comment section down below let me know if you guys have tried any of these products what you think of them if you guys will try any of these products or anything that i should try just let me know tiktok always does this to me i'm always like watching stuff on tiktok and then i add to cart every single time anyways you guys and that is it for me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one <sighs> nyx hold on what am i gonna do next